Hi, this is Vicki back with part two of sewing the straps or the tie ends for the surgical cap for frontline workers. I have um, stitched across to finish the one end of the strap that's going to be the end that's out. The other end I'm not going to finish because it's getting sewn into the cap seam. So I flipped the stitched across end inside, turned it, pushed out the corner um, with my little wooden iron or point turner. You can use a pencil. I use these skewers all the time too. Anything uh, that's kind of blunt for pushing out the corners. You don't want to use something sharp. It'll just poke a hole. So don't use your scissors. Don't use a pin. Um, and now I've got the sewing machine set for a very slight zigzag, a 0.5 millimeter width, and a 2.5 millimeter length. That's going to give a little bit of stretch into the seam so that the stitches are less likely to break. So I'm going to start stitching at the end that's going to stay raw. That way if, if it makes a little wrinkle or balls up the thread, um, it won't matter because that's going to be enclosed in the seam. So I hope you can see that. And then I'm just going to let it go. I use my fingers as a little fence to keep it straight. I'm stitching quite close to the open edges where the two folds are brought together. And then when I get to the end, I slow down lift the foot, turn it across just to reinforce that end and sometimes there's not enough fabric there to feed properly so that's where my little wooden skewer comes in handy. I can give that a little shove as it's sewing. Back stitch again. Cut. That's my automatic cutter. If you don't have that then you're just going to lift the foot, pull it out and clip those threads. So that strap is now finished and ready to go. It's still nice and stretchy. I can't make those threads break. If you have one with a selvage, let me see if I can find one in the mix here. Here's one that's got an obvious selvage end. So in that case, again, I'm starting at the end that's going to stay raw. Stitching my zigzag stitch. is just slightly more exciting than watching paint dry but the strap is 12 and a half inches long and then this time since those edges on the selvage are finished I don't have to turn the corner I'm just gonna go close to the end do a little back stitch so the threads don't come undone stitch off and cut but instead of cutting here's another trick if you're doing multiple straps at the same time can borrow a little trick from the quilting world. Instead of lifting, pulling, cutting, trimming threads, wasting a couple of inches of thread every time, we do what's called chain piecing. And because I'm starting at the raw end, I don't back stitch there, I just stitch off of one and right on to the next one. And then I just keep doing that. And it works the same whether I am turning the corner and back stitching, whether I'm just back stitching at the selvage end. Whoops, pressed the wrong button. Okay, but when I'm done at the last one, then I, I can still lift the presser foot and clip. And then I just go back to my chain, and I would have 10 or 20 of these chained together. Clip it close to the finished end one. The other one's got a little bit of thread sticking out. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. That's going in the seam, so you're not going to see that. And then the straps are all ready to sew into the cap. Thanks for watching.